He's the pop star that has captured girls' hearts all around the world. And I have to tell you, he's captured mine just a little bit. Justin Bieber. I sat down to chat with a 21-year-old yesterday. Um, are you happy? Yes, I am. With your life? With my life and with my career, I'm really happy. Because it is a very cool life, isn't it? It is. Um, I went through a period of not being happy, mm. but... Yeah, I'm happy right now. But you're looking at me and making me feel like I'm not happy, so... Well, do you know what? I've just seen you just go from one place to another, from one interview to another. Here's another yeah. one now. Yeah. How... I mean, obviously, you've got a lot of energy because yeah. you're fit and everything like that. In fact, you're very fit, aren't you? I'm a little fit, yeah. Can you show me how fit you are? Like, what, you want me to, like, lift up my shirt yeah. or something? Yeah. So... I'll never be afraid to pull up my shirt. No. No. Do you, I mean, do, you don't encourage people to touch you, do you? Um, no, you better be careful you don't say that. Or yeah, everyone you could touch me. You. Not you, but... No, no. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Because I actually want to. You want to? Well, yeah. I, the thing and is, I it's, it's crazy because I want to I wanna touch you is the crazy part. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy the way it's just, just buttons here. Let oh me just God. unbutton this top one real quick for yeah, you. Yeah, just one more. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say, chest. I don't have... Obviously, Good. my abs are the same as yours. Yeah. But I haven't got the tattoo. You don't got the tattoos, and that's what makes it, you know? It's just yeah. like... It just it holds the whole thing together. <laughs> You're funny, dude. All right. Um, I just quickly want to finish off this happy thing. I don't want to drive you crazy. All right. But you go from one interview to another. You've got bodyguards. Yep. I mean, you have an extraordinary life, which yep. must put you under huge pressure. For sure. For sure, yeah. There's times where I'm just like, man, this is this is a lot. I just want to go home. I'm just like exhausted. I'm tired. But I just also remember what I want in life and what I'm driving, like striving for. And I'm striving for um, the most, just the the best career possible, and to have p the most people be able to listen to my music and be touched by my music. So you got to do the other stuff that not necessarily what you love, but it. It goes along with everything else. Because the, I mean, I've, you are very good to your fans, yep. aren't you? And that comes into what you're saying now. Yeah. Because you are interested in a long career. But as was evidenced by the Snapchat, and I'm not very good on the interweb thing, yep. um, your fans are not always that good to you. Well, it's just sometimes they don't understand how to approach me and they just get too excited. But um, they're getting better, for sure. And you were training them. You were, you were I'm trying to. I'm trying to like right just letting them let them know what bothers me and what doesn't bother me, so yeah. they they can have that in the back of their head when they're coming and approaching me. When you arrived in New Zealand, half of the fans were screaming and the other half were screaming, "Shh! He doesn't like that." Mm -hmm. And it's it's not that at all. When I when I get to a venue or something and you're screaming, that's that's fine by me. It's not it's not that. It's just when. Because when you get in a group and there's a lot of people rallying up each other, it's like it's hard to calm everyone down, and I understand that. But when you're approaching me in the street or something, just give me a little bit of courtesy. To I want to talk to you about trouble, because you've been in trouble. Yeah. And I, it seems to me that you've you've turned that around. Yeah. And you've done that yourself. Is it that you found trouble? Well, I didn't do it by myself. That's actually wrong. I did it like people who love me really helped me. And really invested themselves in to me, which was really special. How did you find yourself in so much trouble? Did you find the trouble, or did the trouble find I you? I think uh, I wasn't really in that much trouble. I don't. I think people blew it way out of proportion and mm. made it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I think certain things were definitely um, wrong, and things that I, I look back and I'm not really proud of. But it doesn't mean that I don't think I was like. I was never a bad person. I always still, you know, I went to, I was with my family for Christmas every year and um, maintained relationships. But it's just like when I was brought into this into this lifestyle, I really had no no way of knowing how to handle everything. So certain things kind of threw me off, and people threw me off, and I had people that I trusted really break my trust and so it, it kind of changed my perception of how I viewed people and so I'd step into situations and immediately think that they have other preconceived notions or have other things that going on there and I just like I distanced myself and so that made it seem like I was being a jerk which was only a defense mechanism for myself and to protect me and protect my heart but I'm finally at a place where I've 
I've, I've gotten so many people supporting me and, and loving me through it all that my whole perception has changed and I'm able to step into situations unfazed and like even if they are thinking that it doesn't it's not going to change the way I, I view people. Have you become better do you think at choosing people to surround you? Uh, yeah I mean I always I, it's not necessarily the people I think certain it is to a certain extent you are who you surround yourself with but um, I was choosing to do the things that I was doing and it wasn't their fault you know it was my fault but um, but it would have been good to have people encourage me and be like mm. hey man this isn't you this isn't you but I have that now so I'm good of course when you are Justin Bieber as you can imagine you can pretty much have anything you want money is no object so I asked him about his fabulous toys and gadgets how many cars do you have I have uh, I have five cars favorite car that you've got Favorite car, um, which is supposed to be coming in any day now, is the new LaFerrari. So that one's really special to me. Been waiting for like a year to get it, so it's been taking a long time, so I'm excited to get that. Best thing about a Ferrari? Uh, the sound of the purr of the engine. Oh, yes, a purr. Oh, yeah, it purrs like a kitty cat. Is, does it sound as good as an Aston Martin? <laughs> yeah, it sounds really good. Because it's better. a different sound, isn't it? It's the better. Aston Martin is it? You reckon the Ferrari's better than the Aston? Mm. Sounds I mean, that's, you've got younger taste and better hearing. Yeah. When your hearing goes like mine has, the Aston Martin Yeah, like. you like the Toyota Camry sound? That is so harsh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just no, kidding. No, that is harsh. I'm just kidding. Now, you've always had a relationship with God? Always, yeah. But you just had a bit of downtime? No, it, it, I, I've always had, I've had my ups, I've had my downs, I've had my doubts about who God is, and my perception of God, too, was a little stray, because things start happening, and you start blaming God for those things, but... It's never God that's um, making those bad things happen. And so certain things happen and it just swayed my my belief. And I just was like, you know what, I don't even I don't even know if I believe in God until you get to a point where you're just like, I just I can't do this on my own. Was that was sort of re-engaging with Christianity? Was that all part of sort of coming back of sort of winning yourself back and, and moving forward? Um, I think it was just how it happened it wasn't like oh, i'm gonna do this to try to get my life back together it was you know god chose me it wasn't like i was like uh, it was more so like i was about to do something stupid and i felt like god told me not to do it and so i was just like you know what if this is real show me and kind of went in that direction and kind of just uh let him take the wheel and sat back and just said hey i can't do this do it for me and it seems to be working. Love. Yep. Um, does it worry you that it might be hard to find real love because so many people sort of love you? Mm, yes and no. I think that um, I think God's got someone for everyone. But um, I don't know, man. I'm 21. It's time for me to just be by myself for a minute. All right, when I caught up with Justin Bieber yesterday, I thought it would be a good idea to do quick fire. Quick fire can sometimes go horribly wrong and turn into the longest part of the interview. Let's see if that happened. Justin Bieber, quick fire questions. What's your signature dish? Signature dish. I, uh, I enjoy a little spaghetti, bolognese. So if there was a lovely lady over for the evening and you were going to make something, spaghetti? Spaghetti, yeah. Okay. Number two. Who would you cue to see? I would love to see, um, we were just talking with Janet Jackson. Yeah. She's like in a phase of listening to old Janet right now, and so she kind of sparked that in my memory. I would love to see Janet perform again. She's, okay. she's great. Next, uh, car you don't have that you most want to buy? Hmm. Probably a Bugatti. Mm. Mm. Favorite TV show? Right now? Um, That new sh Better Call Saul, I'm starting right now. It's not like my favorite, but I just started it, so that's my memory. It's apparently better than Breaking Bad, that's what they say. Yeah, uh, Breaking Bad was so good, was I don't so know. Good. I don't I know if it could beat that, believe, that. yeah. No, I agree with you. But it's good, it's starting off pretty good. Best song you've ever heard? Best song I've ever heard, probably Let It Be by The Beatles. Ooh, good choice, good choice. Yeah. Um, what are you most afraid of? Most afraid of um, sharks. Yeah, I have a weird phobia. When I'm, whenever I'm in the water, wherever I am, I always think there's sharks there. 
even in pools. There'll be a lot of people that um, can relate to that just straight away. Yeah. Uh, but even in pools? No, not in pools. <laughs> no. Just not um, all right, what is your biggest regret? My biggest regret is uh, probably, um, I think everything that I did made me, made me who I am today, and I have a story, and I just carry, there's a story in the Bible that talks about this dude who Jesus healed, and he said, pick up your mat and go. And so what that symbolizes is like, pick up your past. He was, he was a paraplegic. And he's like, pick up this mat so you remember where you were. So for me, I just remember where I was and no, I'm not where I want to be necessarily, but I'm not where I used to be and just keep it pushing. Favorite holiday destination? Favorite holiday destination. I'd have to say like, <sighs> Greece or like uh, Bora Bora. Let's go with Greece because they need your money. Okay. Desperately. Um, which side do you take? Katy Perry, Taylor Swift? <laughs> um, uh, you have to choose. Oh, God, don't make me do it. No. Please, I like them both. Um, final quick fire question. Okay. <laughs> um, worst single fashion decision you've ever made? Uh, <sighs> worst fashion decision. I look back, there was this one really colorful outfit that I wore. I was like, what was I thinking? I had this like spiky yellow hat on and stuff. It was like purple and orange spiky and blue and too many colors.